today we're going to talk about you don't have to go in there. I love the Easter story of Christ's resurrection. Luke 24, 3 says, When they entered the tomb, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus Christ. See, Jesus couldn't be defeated by death. A heavy stone at the entrance of his tomb or the destructive tendencies of humanity. Nothing stopped Jesus. Jesus won. Jesus overcame sin for us. This demonstration of power is a resource that's available to all of us who desperately want to change. Through our negative choices, you and I create tombs that for ourselves. We, we enter into self-destructive relationships or unsatisfying fantasies. Sometimes we back up from going forward in life and we get involved in negative behavioral patterns or impure thoughts. These choices steal the joy that God wants us to experience. Our ability to confidently live out our God-given identity is undermined because we enter into all these tombs. We expect to fail in the same ways again, giving ourselves permission to do exactly that. With our low expectations we have regarding what is possible for us, we think we can't change. We continue to tell ourselves lies. I can't be different. My marriage will never change. I'm going to fail again. It's inevitable. But Jesus both forgives and empowers us. He wants to release us from all these tombs we get into. He wants to reveal our negative thinking for the lies it really is. You can control your anger. You don't have to obsess over the past failures anymore. You can forgive that individual. You can move on with your life. You can start again. You can love those people around you that sometimes feel unlovable. Today is a day to trust in God's power pumping through your very veins. Accept the sense of internal freedom you've wanted for so long. Be the knight God called you to be. The next time you walk by one of these tombs and it seems inviting, know that you don't have to go in there. You have the power to turn to God's word. Call that accountability partner or choose a different action. Jesus is alive in you. You can be alive as well. That three-point half-court shot can be made. Jesus was resurrected and wants to resurrect you. Trust him and it will happen. This week, you're going to be busy. And in your busyness, you may stumble onto opportunities to enter into tombs that you've already gone into. Maybe, unfortunately, you'll discover a new seductive tomb. In either case, you don't have to die in this way. Let's ask God together to empower you to make a better choice. Let us pray. God, I just pray for my friend here, and I ask that you will help him recognize all those various tombs where he has allowed himself to become enslaved and chained up and weakened from the powerful person and the awesome individual you've created them to be. Let them tap into that power. Give them the strength to say no to some of those negative alternatives that they've often chosen. Resurrect them in a way that others around them can benefit from the change process that you're creating within them. In Jesus' name, amen. Now remember, God is quite the conversationalist. So spend time listening and talking to God today.